Hi! I didn't see you there. My name is Jackie Sieber. I am part of PCTV, and today we are in downtown Pittsburgh at the Three Rivers Arts Festival. Let's go check some art out. It's a move that everybody tries. Art. Let's look at some art. Can you tell us a little bit about your art? Yeah, sure. I call my art a painted mosaic. Uh, I used to do traditional mosaic work, and that sort of evolved into a painted style with the color contrasts, um, geometric shapes that you might see on a tile floor. Mm -hmm. That sort of evolved into um, my style of art. I do a lot of Pittsburgh stuff. I do a lot of Northeast stuff. So, yeah, that's... No. I've been here about four or five times, yeah. I'm an acrylic artist, uh, so I love colors. So all my paintings pop out with colors. They are bright, vibrant. So when you see each of the paintings, they um, give different emotions and they tell different stories. If you could see, like, um, I take inspiration from nature. So I, I have done this bioluminescence, um, done the aurora, so I have the super moon. So it's all related to the nature and it's bright, vibrant, and it makes everybody's life colorful. I love that. And how long have you been an artist for? So I had this interest since my nine years, um, but I started doing full-fledgedly with um, when the passion started growing. Uh, it's been three years since now, and uh, this is the first time I'm able to show it in an outdoor show like this. And yeah, um, this is my first year as an emerging artist, so I'm excited to be the scholarship recipient for this year. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Hopefully you get it. Can you tell me about your work? Sure. Um it's digital as the medium. Uh, what I like to do is my primary subject matter is a lot of astronauts, some paint-up girls, and retro imagery. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, what I like to do is create images that sort of tell a story. It's open to multiple interpretation. Mm -hmm. You'd see it. You'd see one thing. The cameraman would see it. He might see another. Mm -hmm. I see something else. But at the end of the day, I think the type of art that's most interesting is art that's open to multiple interpretation. I like that. And this is, is this your first time at the festival? No, this is my fourth or fifth year, I believe. So my wife's booth's right next door. We do, the, we, we do this show uh, pretty much every year. Can you tell me a little bit about your work? Okay, this is Namde Batikat. And uh, it's all hand painted, mm -hmm. hand wax, hand dyed batik. So this is how we start. We sew it first with muslin and then we paint the pattern with brush, then wax it to control the dye, and then dye. And you do it several times mm -hmm. to get all the dyes in, so it's not something you do once. You do, you dry, then you start all over. Okay. You do it again, you remove the wax, you dry and stuff, until you get in all the, all, all the colors that you want. And uh, how long have you been doing this for? Well, it's been a long time. We started, um, you know, sampling it um, in the late 70s. So my cousin, who is Namde, because he's, um, he's, it was his original idea, so his name is on the level, and he's the designer. So he was a student at UNC studying zoology. So he loves to wear his African stuff, and then people, st other students, professors, they like it, they keep asking him to make one, make two. Then eventually he started putting out tables in front of the student union to make small pocket money. He kept, he would come home. I was still in Nigeria or oh, do whatever. He would go back. And then um, his professors are like, you're good at this. You know, you can make a living out of it. He said he wasn't sure. But um, they kept saying it. And he said, okay, I'll give it a shot. And that, that's the spirit of courage when you look at a uh, level. It says, spirit of courage. That's where it came from. So with that, we started our doing festival, mm -hmm. and since then, it's been great. And we have tons of customer, happy customers. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been at the Three Rivers Arts Festival? Uh, 11 to 12 years. Okay. Yeah, it's been great. I've been all over the place, Phil. Um, 10 days, five days, three days. 
So it's one of my best festivals. The best. But I absolutely love your work and thank you. Great here mm -hmm. and they're wonderful and they are the reason I'm here. Yeah. I'm a hugger. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aww. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm back at the Arts Festival just walking around. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, who are you? I'm, I'm Jackie. Who are you? Kirsten, I'm the interviewer. I'm the interviewer. I, I bet. I, I bet. I... I'm here with Rex. How are you doing today? I am great. Perfect day, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. it's beautiful. Can you tell me a bit about your work here? Yeah, it's um, it's all made with sea glass and beach glass. So oh. we used to live in Hawaii by beach where we would collect it and we had so much of it we were like what are we going to do with this stuff yeah. so we started we taught ourselves how to make jewelry and that was about 20 years ago and we're still doing it wow. so now we live in san diego but so we moved back to the mainland but okay yeah so it's and all i'll found like whatever we find on the beach shells um driftwood you know whatever we find we make stuff out of it nice and how many times is this your first time at the three no, rivers arts I would festival say maybe the fifth time something fifth like that time. yeah okay. not consecutively but maybe five times altogether. and do you travel normally sell your yeah. work yeah we, we do about 25 shows a year wow yeah so with jewelry it's kind of easy we can fly everywhere uh -huh. so this all fits in a couple suitcases and our jewelry is we carry it on so it's a lot easier than paintings and you know yeah. big big yeah. things <laughs> so yeah it's like next week we'll be in des moines and last weekend we were in Minneapolis and so we just kind of oh wow so you're busy yeah this yeah. time of year is busy nice. yeah all right well thank you so much thank you thank you take care can you tell me a bit about your work um yeah sure so I mean these are paintings that I basically paint about hope and happiness um, and this is kind of how it turns out can you tell me about the process of making them yeah they're all oil paintings um, so it's just me and a paintbrush and a lot of hours <laughs> so that's all it really comes down to um, and are you from Pittsburgh or where yeah. you are? Mm -hmm. Is this your first time at the Arts Festival? No, this is year five. So I started here five years ago. I did the Emerging Artist Scholarship and I've done it ever oh, since. Wow. So. Nice. And out of all the paintings here, do you have a favorite that you're currently selling? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this one, I just finished it last night, actually. Oh, so, wow. Um, I'm really excited about it. I love all the little like, sword people and some people that are up on yeah. top of the whale. So. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit about your work? Uh, so the work is a collaboration between me, uh, me and my wife, Becky. Mm -hmm. And it's it started by us like working together and like combining our two styles of drawing so we can collaborate and work together. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, this is our eighth year doing Everyday Balloons. Wow. And can you tell me a bit about your process of creating the art? Uh, so everything is hand drawn, so it starts with a pencil drawing, and then we put the pencil drawing on a light table and trace over the original pencils with ink, hmm. and then uh, from there we blow it up a little bit so it's bigger for the prints, okay. and then we cut ruby lith for our color layers and we screen print everything. Wow, all right. And are you from Pittsburgh or? Uh, we lived in Pittsburgh for about five years, and then about three years ago we moved out into the country in central Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is this your first time at the festival? Uh, this is our fifth year, I believe. Fifth year. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Do you travel around to other festivals? Yeah, we just came from Columbus, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> great. Well, thank you so much. Right, Have a great you. day. You too. Thanks. Can you tell me about your work that you're selling here? Sure, yeah. Well, I'm a weaver. I've been weaving for about 15 years, and so I work in a lot of different fibers. Um, there's nothing quite as soft as rayon chenille. You can feel this. It's Ooh. very nice. Oh, that's and so I nice. also work in some cottons to do some shawls like the one I'm wearing here. Nice. And then um, some lighter weight fibers as well, good for summertime that are over there. And color is my favorite part. Nice. Can you tell me about the process of making these? Oh, sure. So I work on a big floor loom. But the one oh, I work on mainly okay. is 60 inches wide with eight harnesses. Wow. And so what takes the longest is threading the loom, getting all the yarn in the right order to make the patterns and colors appear. Okay. And then you step on treadles that lift up the harnesses and you pass the shuttle through. Nice. A shuttle is like a little um, wooden tool that looks kind of like a canoe. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. How long have you been doing this? About 15 years. Wow. Is this your first time at the Arts Festival? It's my third time here. Nice. Yeah. Do you travel around going to different festivals? I do. I travel all around the Northeast. Great. Right. Awesome. Yeah, well, it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. These are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> well, I do cast paper. It's handmade paper that's pressed into molds, original molds that I make mm -hmm. off of a wax sculpture, mm -hmm. and then they're hand painted with acrylic. And how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing the paper casting for about 30 years. Okay. 
And you said that you were here for 32 years? I've been doing this show for 32 years. I was a printmaker before I was a paper caster. Oh, that's really cool. And what would you say your favorite work here is? Um, probably uh, that big tree that's up there. Oh. It took about, um, about three months to carve the wax, and it takes about two or three days to make each individual piece after that. There are multiples, but each piece is an original because it's hand cast and hand painted. Yeah, so I make uh, sculptural and functional industrial inspired ceramics, and uh, I utilize a lot of different techniques. I like assemblage a lot, and uh, so I, I do a lot of wheel throwing, some slip casting, slab building, um, a lot of carving, a lot of hands-on time with each of my pieces, which I really love. Mm -hmm. Makes it work a little slower, but uh, but I enjoy that that sort of process, that, that tactile ability that you get from ceramics, and I, I like to show that in my work as well, so, you know, that's, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing it about, um, not including my college career, nine years. So, uh, yeah, and I'm down in Asheville, North Carolina. So uh, it's a great community down there of, of creatives and artists and ceramics. Yeah, and is this your first show or? Third. So third. this is the third. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, it's it's always been a great show for us. So uh, yeah. Nice. And what is your favorite work here right now? I love my sculptural work. Um, uh, so either my my teapot series or my uh, suspension series of sculptures. Mm -hmm. um, so like this piece right over here, um, I'm a, it's kind of one of my quintessential sort of uh, more sculptural teapots. But but uh, you know I kind of look and I I really am able to incorporate all of the techniques that I love using and really kind of building and you know I kind of play with it almost like you're playing with Legos and you just kind of like hand and kind of build in 3D space. I do little sketches here and there, but, but I like making all of these different components and really seeing how they all work together. And so the, the simplicity of the teapot and where it comes from, the ceramic realm, is, is huge for uh, uh, potters and ceram anybody who works in clay so much. But, uh, but it's kind of the form that I always go back to and that I always love. And, and just even though I don't look at functional teapots so much. I like things inspired by function as well. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, my teapots or my my uh, suspension series where I'm looking at shaping space, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you <laughs> so much. No, <laughs> but it's really cool. Like, I love that, it's awesome. But yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Have nice a good one. To meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Can you tell me about the artwork here? Yeah, so these are, is artwork you get to create yourself. It comes as a kit. And it's a project for people who like building things, and then you get to hang it on the wall when you're done and have a sculpture you made yourself. And do you know the process, like what's the process in making this artwork? Yeah, so it's primarily folding and gluing, um, and it's kind of a repetitive process, so it can be very much like a relaxing mindfulness activity, kind of like those adult coloring books that are really popular. Um, each one comes with a practice that you learn with a video on our website, and then that carries over into the final sculpture. And what was the inspiration behind the artwork? So the inspiration was something similar um, that we found online and then decided that it could not only be a lot more fun and easier for people to create, but a lot cooler looking too. So we kind of ran with that idea. And are you from Pittsburgh? Yeah, we live over on the north side. Nice. Is this your first time at the festival? This is our third year doing Three Rivers. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Could you tell me about your artwork? Uh, so I do woodworking. Um, I make something I like. I call log boxes or I take logs from trees and I carve uh, drawers out of them, make little jewelry boxes or knickknack boxes. Nice. It's my main thing. Can you tell me about the process behind your art? So I actually go out into the woods and try to find already dead standing trees or sometimes people that know that I do this will give me a tree that they cut oh. down and then I'll take it in my shop, clean up the logs and make sure they're all dry and then I'll use a bandsaw and cut them all out and then do lots of sanding and then the finishing process with it. Wow. What was the inspiration behind this? Um, it was kind of in college I learned how to use power tools and uh, it was a lot of tinkering around and being a poor college student I started just getting whatever I could for materials and that's where the logs came in and then it just kind of became really fun and they look really interesting. It's like bringing nature into your home that is yeah. functional. 
So it was, it was fun. Wow, that's awesome. How long have you been doing this? Um, woodworking stuff, probably about nine years, uh, but this is only my third year being at the Arts Festival. So. Okay. Are you from Pittsburgh? or? I lived in Pittsburgh for about ten years and uh, just moved near the Cleveland area. But All right. Cool. Oh. Well, thank you so much. These are really cool artworks. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Can you tell us about your work? I've been doing it 53 years. I cut all my own patterns. I make everything myself. My daughter helps me. There are two of us. But it's a lot of fun. I'll make you anything you want. Really? What is your favorite animal, by the way? There's well, a lot of... They change. Right now, it's probably the woolly mammoth. Oh, my God. That's so cute. They were talking about cloning it. And it's one of my best sellers of fur, and it's really thick. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, that is very yeah. thick. Yeah, so... It's probably one of my best favorites. But the turtle puppet's my favorite. Aww. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, so how long have you been at the Three Roots Arts Festival for? This is just my second year. I did it year before last, and this year's the next second year I've done it. I've been going to shows 53 years. I don't know why I didn't apply to this one. <laughs> I should have, because it sure is a nice show. Yeah. Where are you originally from? I'm from Alabama. Alabama? Awesome. Uh, do you live in Pittsburgh right now? Well, I live in Alabama. I came up just for the show. Well, I hope you had a safe trip. And I had I a safe trip and a good show, and I'm awful glad to be invited. All righty, yeah. yeah. We like Pittsburgh. It's been good to me. Oh, perfect. Well, Thank uh, you for interviewing me. Can you tell us about your work? Uh, I paint with drumsticks. Uh, I'm a drummer for many, many years, and one day I thought if I take my sticks, dip them in paint, and play on canvas, I would create something. That's how this started. And how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this for 18 years. So I was a rock and roll drummer for many years, yes. Uh, I played for 30 years. That's what I did for a living. Nice. What is your favorite um, piece? Uh, my favorite piece is this piece right here. Um, it's called Beyond Beyond. It's uh, kind of a self-portrait. Oh, okay. It's way out there. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, is this your first time? This is my first year here, yes. Well, I love your work. I think it's well, thank so you. cool. Yeah, and I hope you have an amazing day. Absolutely. Can you tell us about your work? Sure. Um, these are pen and ink drawings, and it, they're all drawn with lines and dots. And the lines, it's called cross hatching. Okay. And the dots is called stipple. Mm. And um, the more lines you draw, the darker the shade becomes. So all, all I'm doing is just make, making patterns of lines. And uh, kind of boring to, to watch, mm -hmm. but the more lines you make, it keeps getting darker and darker and darker. And an average drawing takes me about 40 hours, 50 hours to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then I make reproductions of it or, or prints of it to sell. Mm -hmm. And uh, the originals are all this size. They're all kind of larger. And then the prints that I, I make are a little bit smaller. Okay. And um, so I'm a retired art teacher, and I just love to draw. So, yeah. uh, And at the shows, I like to just sit here and draw. Nice. And how long have you been a part of this show? This is my fifth year. Okay. Fifth year of the show, yeah. It's, awesome. Well, I do 25 shows a year, but this is probably my favorite one, I think. Awesome. And uh, what's your favorite piece you've ever drawn here? Uh, the pieces I have here, I... I I have a new granddaughter, um, I pulled off Mabel, so that's probably my favorite, most meaningful one right mm -hmm. there. Aww, you know what I have so to sweet. say. So I, I like to draw my family. So here's my daughter, uh, Mabel's mom, and my mm -hmm. son in law. And so um, um, it's meaningful for me to draw my family. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of fun whenever she's my age, she'll, she'll have that drawn. And, I mean a lot there, you know. That's so sweet. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, have a yeah. great one. Great meeting you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, I'm Rob. It's okay, no, we're just interns. What's your name? I'm Sean. I'm Jackie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, oh. Miss Jack. Um, just say 100% pierogies, because you said it earlier today. And or 100% Pittsburgh. Yeah, 100%. Fresh pierogies. Yes, yes. All fresh made, 100% Pittsburgh products, guys. Silver Star Meat, Saloni's Bread, Fresh Pierogies. Isley's Chip Chopped Ham, Turner's Tea, Snyder Berlin, Bellevue Pickles, Party Cake Donuts, Southside Pretzels, Isley's Chip Chopped Ham. If it ain't Pittsburgh, it ain't here. You can check the credentials. We didn't hide the kitchen. We just drug it to the sidewalk. All made fresh to order Pittsburgh products, guys.